What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and we have some breaking news here regarding updated anime games that are going to be coming in 2024 and this is really exciting. I think Bandai has actually been doing really really good preparing for the year of 2024 so we have something really really cool to be hyped about because I know that there's a lot to be expecting for updates on current anime games and newer anime games that are going to be coming out so we got a lot to review, bro. This is sort of correlated to Dragon Ball, but it, it, it's anime related. So let's review this, bro, because this is going to be absolutely crazy. Now, this right here is probably the biggest news as of recently that there will be hopefully potentially. It's not confirmed just yet, but there will hopefully potentially be a new Bleach game. The so Shueisha Inc. in Europe filed a trademark Bleach Rebirth of Souls. This is likely a PC console game as the same nice classes were used in applications for dragon ball sparking zero one piece odyssey and many others so shout out to katakasis hopefully i'm saying that right Kata kudakasis i think i don't know if i'm saying that right hopefully i said that right but shout out to kudakasis this is absolutely insane now there is a bleach game that is going to be that is coming out it was announced last year and it's going to be it was set to release this year in 2024 it was this bleach game called uh wield of the blade of your soul but this is a mobile game so this is actually going to be pretty insane now the mobile game looks pretty cool but it's been over a decade since we've gotten a new bleach game it's been absolutely so long i think the last bleach game that we released on console was like in 2011 it was for the playstation 3 like we have not had a bleach game in the longest time and that is absolutely crazy to think about like for all these ble for all bleach fans that have been waiting for new uh, for, for new content to come out from Bandai regarding Bleach. Like, I feel so bad for them. Like, I'm here complaining about Dragon Ball, but these Bullfreakers haven't gotten a game since, like, 2011 or something like that. Like, what the hell have y'all been playing, bro? We're gonna move to the website here. Bleach Rebirth of Souls trademark filed by Shueisha. A new Bleach game titled Bleach Rebirth Souls may be coming soon, according to new EU trademark filed by Shueisha. Shueisha, sorry. The trademark was made public on December 27th as Bleach fans prepare for the mountain. Okay, whatever, whatever. The Bleach franchise has not received a console game since 2011's Bleach Soul. Oh my god, for the PlayStation 3, dude. That I, I, I yearn with you Bleach fans, bro. That is horrible, bro. I think you guys definitely need a new anime, uh, a new game for the updated consoles, bro, because PlayStation 3 is crazy. I think the PlayStation 3 is older than I am, bro, like legit. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe the PlayStation 3 came out in 2006. If, if that is true, then no, it's not older than me, but whatever. You, you get what I'm saying. It, it, it's pretty close to my age, though. <laughs> it says the Bleach each rebirth souls of trademark indicates that it falls under the same class as amusement video great games computer and other indicators that suggest a brand new game similarly to the trademarks filed for dragon ball sparking zero since trademark was filed in germany it sh it could suggest a worldwide release is planned so i don't know dude it looks like bandai's cooking this year i feel so bad for bleach fans i think bleach fans deserve this more than anything considering how freaking long it's been since they've gotten a freaking game but i don't know dude I, I i i hope it's true i really do not just this new upcoming bleach game but we do have a lot to expect anime related for bandai that they're going to be releasing a packed full of games we have dragon ball sparking zero jujutsu kaisen cursed clash hunter x hunter fighters bleach rebirth of souls they always have to have soul they, they always have to add souls to bleach games it's just crazy but storm connections dlc all year one piece warriors 4 dlc tokyo revengers game hinokami chronicles 2 i don't i don't think they'll do that maybe why would they release a, a hinokami chronicles part 2 i don't understand there's I, as far as i know there's nothing wrong with the current hinokami chronicles i think maybe they would add more dlc to the game i don't understand why they would release a second one uh, I just think they can keep updating the game as it is. I don't know. I'm not one. I, I don't know. Maybe they'll make a second one so they can update the story. I think. I don't know because as far as I know, Hinokami Chronicles has just been updated for the characters that they've been adding, like Tengen uh and Gio Toro stuff like that so I, I don't know i i would question this a little bit i wouldn't confirm that so b take that with a grain of salt i don't think a hinokami chronicles 2 would 
come out anytime soon. Or I could be wrong, but bro, we already know Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is literally the main game that we are hyped about. Like there is no game that we that an anime fan has been more hyped about that is not Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, dude. This game is definitely going to be anime game of the year. Most probably going to be the best Dragon Ball game that has ever been released. This is going to be a great year for Dragon Ball. I'm absolutely hyped for it. I personally think that Dragon Ball has had the best set of anime games out of any anime that's made one. So I don't know. We're just going to have to see how this does. I think a lot of anime fans would agree that Dragon Ball by far at least, at least has top three best animated games of all like out of franchises of games that they've made i, I would add, i would presume at least some anime fans would say that because uh, aside from uh ultimate or, or ninja storm 4 I, I there was not a game that really has taken my liking into as much as dragon ball has and that's not to necessarily say the games were bad but that just shows that dragon ball personally for me just has a special place in my heart so i have no idea i i'm praying and hoping i don't want to bring my hopes up too high and then be let down but sparking zero is definitely looking like a dragon ball game to remember so we're just gonna have to see the updated trailer hopefully they will release it i've heard leaks that there are going to be releasing a trailer at battle hour which is the 27th it's the 27th or the 28th of january so hopefully we can be expecting something big something new from there i don't know if they're releasing another trailer a release date or something like that i don't want to speculate something and then be wrong and then people come at me for being wrong about my speculation i have no idea expect news hopefully regarding sparking zero at battle hour and if not we'll get something dragon ball diamond related at least you know <laughs> but that's all i have to say for today's video it looks like 2024 is going to be a good year happy new year to all of you guys i hope you guys had a wonderful new year 2024 is going to be an exciting year for not just dragon ball but anime games in general so yeah a lot to expect i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys later peace out hey it's me goku if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit a like and subscribe button so you can be updated for all the new content pbl gaming makes See ya!